the week that we celebrate All Saints, All Saints Day, all the saints who have come before us and all the saints who live with us and walk with us today still. And yes, we have a special day that we celebrate this All Saints Day, but for me, I think about it pretty much the whole week, um, leading up to Halloween and after. And I think about all these special traditions we share around the world where we celebrate those important people in our lives who teach us about God and God's love and encourage our faith. And today's devotion I would like to share with you comes from TV Praise, and it's written by Heidi Gaynan. And she begins with a quote from Father James Martin, and he writes in his book, My Life with the Saints, Without a doubt, that's the most important aspect of the saints for me. They teach me about being who I am. Each of the saints has been holy in a different way. Each was placed in a different situation and a different time. Each had a different personality and dealt with life differently. And each related to God a little differently. So we learn about God not just in the ways that they told us about love and these characteristics of God we're so used to thinking of, but we also learn about God in the diversity of the saints the ways they are so different in their relationship with God and the ways they live out their calling from God in the world. So there's something to remember there and when we celebrate these all saints. There's something about that diversity and uniqueness that we can take with us that you don't have to be one certain way to be a saint and it all has to do with how we live in relationship with God and share that with others. So in this devotion from from TV Praise from Heidi Gain, and she shares how, um, beginning with this quote, she shares just the different ways saints have played a role in her life, how she's learned about them. She grew up Catholic and now as a Lutheran in Idaho, what that means for her. So I'm going to share a little bit more of that. She says, Lutheranism has taught me that all our deceased loved ones are among the saints celebrated on November 1st, not just those officially declared saints. Catholics celebrate the Feast of All Souls on November 2nd, which includes all of our loved ones. I like the idea of celebrating them all together in one feast. Father Martin says, the saints and loved ones that have gone before us can give us a roadmap to follow, but they are also cheering us on and they pray for us. Their love for us hasn't ended, just as our love for them hasn't ended. It's fine to ask them to pray for us. Their love for us is still very much alive. And that's something I definitely think about when I think of my dad. Love never ends. He still loves me today, even if he's not alive in his body to show it. And so when I celebrate All Saints Day, it's that love that I am celebrating. So, circling back to what Father Martin says about the saints teaching us to become who we are, I believe studying the lives of people like St. Francis, Dorothy Day, Mother Teresa, Dietrich Bonhoeffer helps me be a better me. I am not called to be Dorothy Day, but what can I do in my life to love and serve the poor? There was only one Dietrich Bonhoeffer, but after learning more about him, I am more inspired to stand up for what I believe. The saints I have known and loved through my life still love me and cheer me on every day. As inspired as I am by saints and loved ones, God calls me to be me, the truest me I can be. So let's pray together. Gracious God, thank you for the lives of the saints and all of our beloved family and friends on the other side. Their lives give us examples of how to navigate the ups and downs of this world and their love and prayers guide us on our journey. Help us to live as faithful, loving saints ourselves, here and now. Amen. Mm -hmm.